Hi guys and welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to be doing a nice core yoga flow. So let's start off in a child's pose. Just holding here for a moment. Don't mind the cat. There are going to be cats showing up here a lot. <laughs> now you can be in an open wide hip position here. Or you can have your knees a little bit closer together. And we're going to slide into our baby cobra. And just hold up for a moment. Warming up that lower back and the shoulders. And let's lift up into a up dog position. And we're gonna come down into our downward facing dog. Spreading the fingers wide. And feel free to walk this out if you're not ready to bring the heels all the way down. And we're going to come to our first exercise. So we're coming into an up dog with our feet flexed and back into our down dog. So it's just warming up a little bit of our abs and our whole body. And I'm facing up when I come into this up dog, shoulders back. Nice and controlled. And we're really just trying to concentrate on keeping our core nice and strong. So the tailbone tucked in. And just kind of making a wave like motion always. And don't worry if you can't get your heels down in the down dog when you come back. It takes a little bit of adjustment every time you move forward, you move back. Good job guys, let's do our last one and coming in back into our downward facing dog and back into child's pose. So bending the knees, opening up the hips and relax. Just catching our breath here. Just taking a moment for ourselves before we go to the next exercise, which is going to be a downward facing dog into a tabletop. So let's come up into our downward facing dog and I'm gonna show you. And we're going to hover above the mat and come back to downward facing dog. And hover and down dog. And we're trying to keep the core very nice and strong and engaged here. So tucking the tailbone in when we come into the hover position. Good, keep going guys. We're firing up that core and also firing up those legs. Good, this is nice and controlled. So don't rush. And now in our last tabletop, we're just gonna hold here. Core is nice and engaged. Head is straight. And we'll come back into our down dog. And we're gonna come to our first flow. So I'm coming knees, chest to the mat, and up into my up dog. You can do a full chaturanga if you want. And I'm coming back to my down dog and holding here. And we're gonna come for a very similar exercise. So back into tabletop. And then we're gonna take two steps forward and let's go two steps and two steps back into plank two steps into hover two steps into plank and we're just going to repeat this over and over again keeping that core engaged don't lift the hips shoulders are over the wrists your head is straight good keep stepping 
Those legs are burning, the core is burning. Good, and now let's take a flow. And let's come into our upward facing dog and back into child's pose. Just taking a nice rest. You can roll out your wrist, just move it around if you want, if you feel a little bit, a little tension there. We are doing a lot with our wrists. Good, just keep holding. If you need a drink of water or whatever, then please do so. This is your flow. Take it how you want. And let's get ready to come up into our downward facing dog, into our next exercise. And we're going to lift one leg up, doesn't matter which one you pick. And we're going to keep it bent, this three-legged dog, and stretching it. And we're going to bring that leg and bring it to our elbow, bending it, so knee to elbow, and then back into our three-legged dog. Good, this is nice and slow. Keeping that butt down in the plank. Abs are engaged. And if at any moment anything feels really intense, then just take a break. You don't have to do everything I'm doing in that moment. You can take this at your own pace. Good, and we're gonna take our last one and we're gonna come for a nice stretch after this one and just bring the foot forward into our low lunge dropping the back knee and I'm just gonna turn my foot out and push on the knee and just pushing it away from me you can stay in a normal low lunge just keeping the hips square but this way I feel a little bit more in my hips and I'm just relaxing here, catching my breath. You can also roll your wrists, do whatever you want here. Now you can stay here longer or you can join me in the next exercise. We're lifting the back knee and we're coming into plank and we're gonna bring that lizard on the other side and repeat. So always coming back into that plank and back into lizard, keeping the hips down, the tailbone tucked under so that your abs are engaged in the plank. Good, nice and controlled movements. Taking this very nice and slow, not rushing anywhere. And let's come into plank and I'm coming down into a chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog and just holding here. And I'm gonna take a nice flow, so either stepping or jumping to your feet and down and halfway up and now coming all the way up, bringing your arms up and into prayer. And let's take them one more time, following the breath and down and halfway up and either step or jump back and into chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog and just hold here now you don't have to be in a down dog you can come to child's pose whatever you feel like all right guys, if you're ready, we're gonna go to the other side, keeping the leg bent or stretching it. And we're gonna come down to knee to elbow, stretching that leg or bending it, like I said. And 
knee to elbow, keeping the abs engaged, hips are down. And if you are stretching the leg, trying to stretch the knee, really engaging the whole leg when you stretch the leg. Good, and let's take our last one, stretching that leg, and now bending it, and let's take our stretch in this low lunge, so dropping the knee, opening up that foot, and now pushing the knee away from you, and just holding here. Alright, if you're ready, we're going to lift that knee and come back into our next ab exercise. So lifting it and back to plank and other side lizard pose. And just repeating this side to side, keeping those hips under, abs are engaged, keep going. And after this one, we are going to take our plank and come into our chaturanga and upward facing dog into downward facing dog. And we're just going to take a nice flow, such so as step or jump forward and down, halfway up, and let's come up all the way raising the arms and into prayer and let's do that one more time and lower down and halfway up and step or jump and into chaturanga up dog and down dog and just hold here And let's lift the leg the other side now into our three-legged dog, stretched or bending the leg. And we're going to come down into our knee to elbow, and we're just going to go up and down. So knee to wrist, knee to elbow, knee to wrist, knee to elbow, and just going up and down. Hold and engage those abs and hold. And we're going to come back into that nice stretch, into our low lunge, opening up the hip and just pushing the knee away and just hold, catching your breath. You can roll your wrists out. They're getting a nice workout as well. And just make sure that you're breathing nice and deeply, nice long inhales and exhales. And at any time, please don't hold your breath in this workout. All right, guys, we're gonna come back into our lizard plank and then lizard on the other side. So let's go plank, lizard, plank and lizard, keeping those hips down, belly button is tucked in. So you feel this engagement in your abs. And now let's hold that plank and chaturanga, up dog and into downward facing dog. Good, just hold and we're going to step or jump through and down, nice forward stretch, lifting halfway and let's come all the way up. Just coming up with the arms and into prayer 
and let's take that one more time inhaling and exhaling down forward stretch halfway and let's jump or step back into our chaturanga and let's just go up and down into our downward facing dog and let's get ready to go into our three-legged dog lifting the leg and let's bring that knee through touching the elbow and now let's touch the wrist or the mat and just up and down with this movement keeping the core nice and strong good don't lift the hips keep going and let's hold and bring it through into our low lunge and just taking a nice breather here in the stretch opening up that hip pushing the knee away and though i already mentioned this earlier if you want to take a child's pose please do take whatever break stretch you want to whatever feels best for you all right let's lift the knee and we're gonna come for our lizard plank lizard on the other side hips are down engage those abs head is nice and straight don't let it dangle between your shoulders And last one, and we're gonna take our nice flow. So chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. And let's take a full flow, just jumping through, pulling down, and halfway up. And let's just roll up, arms and hands to the sky and into prayer and one more time around and all the way down and halfway up and let's just jump back and into our chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog and let's just come into child's pose taking a really nice break this time you can release the arms you don't need to stretch them you can bring them to the sides of your body as well whatever feels more relaxing and let's come up and into our next exercise so we're coming into a down dog and we're just gonna jump through like so so just jumping through between our hands and coming into roll like a ball and then into our chair pose and then a burpee back into our plank roll like a ball chair pose back to plank so just repeating this keep going you can take this as fast as you want. Take it at your own pace. You don't need to go as fast as I'm going. Good. And sometimes it's hard to coordinate. As you just saw, I'm a little confused <laughs> sometimes. And let's just come into our down dog. And just holding here, catching our breath. All right, for the next exercise, I'm going to show you the easier version first. So it is plank into down dog and plank into down dog and the more advanced version and I'm already going to start doing the exercise is to lift one arm and then bring it forward above your head into plank and back. So 
You can either stay with the easier version or continue with the more advanced version that I am doing. So this is very nice and slow, nice and controlled movement. Keeping those hips under when you're going into the plank. And let's release and coming into our down dog. And let's come back into that roll like a bowl, into chair pose, back into plank, and repeat. Good, keeping the core really nice and strong in this roll like a ball, and especially in the plank. Good, chair. Really deep in those knees. And let's come back into our down dog. And just hold here. I'm gonna take that previous exercise one more time this time with the other arm. But if you're with the easier version, just stay in plank and back into down dog. So if you're ready, we're gonna lift the arm and bring it out in front and back. And out and back. Good, and the last one. And let's bring it back into our normal down dog. Just holding here, catching our breath. And let's just jump forward. Forward stretch, halfway. We'll take a nice flow, coming all the way up. Reach for the sky, down into prayer. And let's take it one more time with the arms. And we'll take it all the way down, trying to meet our head with our shins halfway. And jumping back, chaturanga, upward facing dogs, shoulders back, and downward facing dog. Good, just holding here a little bit longer. If you wanna to come to child's pose, please do. And we're going to jump or step through into a seated position and we're gonna work on our abs. So we're just going to lift into our boat position, knees together and just hold here for a moment. And we're gonna come into roll like a ball, but coming back in our boat and rolling back and balancing. This is quite hard. So if you wanna come for a normal roll like a ball, please do. Keeping those knees together, keeping the shoulders back. Good hold. Good, and last one, and we're just gonna come here and hold, and we're gonna come for our canoe position and back to boat, so canoe to boat. And I'm just bringing my arms out to the side in the canoe, and then back to boat. Good, keeping those legs up when we do canoe. Don't let them touch the ground. This is working your lower abs like crazy. And the last one, and hold in this boat. And final pose, we're just going to stretch the legs and we're going to lower down slowly into our Shavasana. So we're just gonna relax everything, keeping our arms and hands to the side of our body, legs apart. 
and we're just gonna slowly catch our breath and then come to a continuous deep inhalation and exhalation and while we're doing this we're just trying to relax each and every part of our body starting with the toes and now the feet to the ankles all the way up into our calves and then our thighs our hips and our butt and relaxing the abs your chest relax those fingers and your wrists working your way up to your arms and let's relax the neck relaxing our ears even relaxing everything in our face our eyebrows our jaw just relaxing any kind of tension we have in our body and just follow your breathing Good, and we're just gonna bring ourselves back. Let's just start off with wiggling our fingers and our toes, bringing sensation back into our body. And let's just lift the arms above our head, feet together, and just making a nice long stretch. Good, arching that back. And let's release, just rolling onto our right side. And we'll come up to a nice easy pose. And I just wanna thank you guys for coming. Thank you for joining me on this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>